Indian peafowls. I've been told that we need to improve their social welfare. Now then, just find one of the peafowls and select them to open their information panel. Then we can have a good gander at how they're doing. Although technically, I suppose gandering would just be for geese. Expand their social welfare and we can get a bit more detail. Ah, uh, now, they've clearly got plenty of space and they're not stressed, but it looks like their social group isn't quite right. So let's find out more. Click on the social tab at the top of their information panel to see what's wrong. Right, as you can see, the peafowls need their population to be larger. To solve this little problem, you'll need to adopt three more female peafowls. Well, off you pop to the animal market. Good work on those peafowls. I expect they'll be delivered soon. But sadly, it sounds like our snow leopard is a bit grumpy. Let's head over there and see what's wrong with her. Just like people, animals can suffer from stress if things aren't quite right. You know, like when you see someone put in the milk before the tea bag. In the case of these snow leopards, they're a bit stressed by their lack of privacy. You can lower their stress levels by swapping out the normal glass barriers for one-way glass. It's not a cheap option, but I think they're worth the expense, don't you? This will give the snow leopards somewhere to go when they want to get away from the prying eyes of the guests. Of course, when an animal isn't in its natural biome, it's probably going to be too hot or too cold. Unsurprisingly for the snow leopards, it's, it's too hot. <laughs> Even with the terrible British weather, you should help cool it down by adding some coolers to their habitat. But let's start by opening up the temperature heat map and having a look-see at the temperature in the leopard's habitat. As you can see, we already have one cooler in there. Let's pop some more down and get as much of the habitat as chilly as we can. Luckily for us, this habitat already has power, but you'll need to make sure of that in the future. Just so you know, if any part of a habitat is powered, then the whole habitat will be powered. You can find heat maps for all sorts of helpful things, so do be sure to explore them and make good use of them. It'll take a little while for the temperature to adjust once you've added coolers or heaters, but now we've got the coolers in, we can address the leopard's terrain welfare. You see, what the leopard's really wanting here is snow and rock, so let's make that happen. Now then, all 
of that should give you a pretty good understanding of how to make animals happy. So I'd like you to go and check on all the other animals in the zoo and fix up any issues with their habitats. That'll increase the average welfare of the animals across the whole zoo. And that average welfare is a very important statistic. Now, to quickly see how all your animals are doing in the zoo, you should go into zoo management and then into the animals section. As you can see, this list shows you the animal's overall welfare. So if something's amiss, then you can quickly pop over to them using the locate button. Right, I'm off for a cuppa while you make sure all the animals are well looked after.
Not bad. Not bad at all. I think it's fair to say that you've passed the first part of your training with flying colours. There's still lots more to learn, but we'll have to head to another one of Bernie's. <laughs> Don't tell her I told you, but Nancy wasn't sure you'd even last the morning. <laughs> so, we're happy this is working. And Nancy owes me a foxy coffee. <laughs> As strange as it seems, considering we just met, when I look at you, I feel like you're the child I never had. After the one I did have, obviously. But you see, zookeeping's not for my daughter. Don't get me wrong, Emma absolutely loves animals, but she set her sights somewhat higher. Mm hmm. Wants to save the entire planet. I'll just settle for saving a couple of species. Oh, and maybe having a type of frog named after me.